Hey y'all, we're going to do the whirly gig pattern. This is a helpful heifer exclusive pattern from the quilted cap. You're going to need either four fat eights or two fat quarters and your background fabric is a fat quarter. You'll also need two thirds of a yard of backing fabric because this is a great pillowcase. Okay, so you know I hate five eights, but let me teach you a quick little trick. Okay, so four eights is one half, right? So five eighths is one more than four eighths. So just move your ruler one little piece back. Okay, so you see this big fat line is my half. So here's 13, here's half, and five eighths is one little notch off of that big fat line. And so I'm gonna line it all up. I'm gonna use the top of my fabric as my square line because the bottom doesn't matter right now. I'm gonna hold it tight, zip. 13 and 5 eighths. The next step is to cut five and a quarter. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna come down here to the quarter line. So it's easier to see right here. See, this is my line. The quarter is one little notch off that line. It's the first little notch. And I'm gonna just line it all up, use See how I use these other lines to get it square? And then I'm gonna zoop it off. Next, I'm gonna cut a 12 and a half inch square. So I'm gonna come here, cause I don't have my little square tools that I normally have at home, but I'm gonna come right here. So I just want you guys to know, you can do all of these patterns without all the fancy stuff that a lot of us have. Some of the fancy stuff is just designed so that you can do it quicker, easier, however. So all I did was I've lined it up on this side of my um, block. This tells me it's 12 and a half. I can come to the 12 and a half and I can cut it. And I'm gonna go pretty slow because I don't want my ruler to move. So then all I have to do is take it up here to the corner, bring it up into that corner, line everything up accordingly, and real easy, I can come down to the 12 and a half, not move my fabric, come down to the 12 and a half and cut it again. So now I have a 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch square, super easy. Okay, so on this, I have to cut this diagonal four times. So I'm lining it up, I'm using my ruler, and I'm actually just lining my ruler up to make sure I'm gonna take this through the middle. Cut it once. Now I don't have a spinning mat here, so I'm going to take it again, and I'm going to line it up And cut it again. And all you gotta do is get these points lined up. So now I've got the four triangles. Okay, so one of the directions is to cut this at a 45 degree angle. See, I've got a nice little 45 degree line on my cutting mat. So real easy, I'm going to line my ruler up after I've put my fabric down and I'm gonna trim it. You can also use the lines on your ruler as well. I'm just gonna trim that off just like that. Now I've got a 45 degree angle on my piece. I'm gonna do that to all four pieces. After you cut all the corners, lay the entire things out. It's kind of tricky, but once you figure out how all the colors touch, it works. All right, so I have it all laid out. It takes a little bit of practice. You can see that in the video. I'm gonna get it all sewed together. So step one is I'm gonna sew A to A. So I'm just going to fold it over. I'm gonna match up my point here in the middle. And I'm gonna pin it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around. So I'm first, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my pieces sewed together. Okay, I've, I have sewed all of these with a quarter inch seam. Now I'm going to iron them and you're gonna iron them to the triangle side. So we're gonna iron them all like this. Okay, we're gonna put it back the way it was. 
might be just a little bit different because I don't really remember how it was. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back. The easy way to remember this is that the colors touch in the middle. So make your colors touch. Now we're gonna do it again. And we're, we're gonna fold in one side and another and we're gonna match them all together and we'll do the same thing on the other side and then the same thing again. Okay, they're all together again. I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna sew one more time. And the top is complete. Now I'm gonna trim off these little triangles here, these little edges and wings, um, but the top is complete. So now let's work on the back. Okay, so the instructions say to cut a 22 and a half inch strip by 18 and a half. So something that's interesting on this is you might think to yourself, self, a piece of fabric is 44 inches. So I've got it folded in half here. So theoretically, you know, it's just off half an inch. I could do it that way. But what they send you in the kit is about two thirds cut of fabric. So I'm actually just gonna come out to the 22 and a half right here. And I'm gonna cut it this way. You can see it pretty easy. There's my 22. 22 and 22 and a half inch up there. I'm gonna use my little ruler. Yes, I know this is backwards to what all my other friends do. I'm gonna make sure it's all squared. Now when I square it, I'm using this folded edge up here and I'm using the top line to line things up. And I'm gonna skim it up here not be able to finish because of the wall. So now I've got it 22 and a half inches going this way. So I'm going to bring it down and do my 18 and a half going this way. So I don't even have to cut my selvage off and I can use my mat just to do my measurements because I'm doing it this way. So here's 18 over here on my mat. I'm gonna mark it here with my ruler's edge. I'm gonna come here get it and then I'm just going to trim it off and I will have 18 and a half by 22 and a half. <laughs> Maybe. Just remember there's a fold in the top of your fabric so you are going to have to trim that fold off and what I do is I just come right up to the edge and I trim it off. Yes it's now not a true 18 and a half it's 18 and a half minus whatever this little string is but it still works. It's totally fine. Okay, so you take each of those fabrics that you just made, you're gonna fold them in half, you're gonna fold them wrong sides together. So you'll have two pretty sides of fabric and I'm just gonna quickly press these so that I have them nice and firm. The next part's super fun. So I'm gonna take those fold pieces of fabric. See, I've got my pretty side up on the front of my pattern, of my pillow rather. I'm gonna lay them on top of each other like this and like this and they should overlap because we're making an envelope enclosure and because both sides are pretty you can just do it like this because this is called a double envelope and I'm just going to pin it all the way around so that I make sure I sew all of these layers together when I'm sewing which is a big deal. Okay guys, so I didn't have to leave a pull through hole on this one. I sewed all the way around all four sides because I have an envelope enclosure and that just becomes my pull through hole. Now I did trim off my little points so that when I pull it through it, it doesn't have the extra bulk in the corners. And it is so cute. Can't wait. This pillow is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 